Hey everyone, this is Ali and welcome back to Urban Atlas. Hope you guys are having a great day today. For the past few months, we've been exploring Canada's strangest islands. We've looked at a diverse set of islands, including the Belcher Islands, Aquatoke Island, and Funk Island. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a different island. And this is part 6 of Canada's strangest islands. Now this island is a bit more well known as compared to our previous island. The majority of islands we've looked at so far are actually uninhabited, but this actually has people living on it. And I'm sure all you geography nerds out there have seen this island, especially if you live in the eastern part of Canada. So today we're going to be exploring Quebec's Anticosti Island. Now the Anticosti Island is a relatively large island. It's located in the Gulf of St. Lawrence in the Côté Nord region of Quebec. The island encompasses a land area of 7,900 square kilometers. The island has a length of approximately 220 kilometers, and at its widest point, it's approximately 56 kilometers wide. The island has a high point of 306 meters above sea level, and unlike many of the islands we've discussed previously, it actually has a population of 218 people. And just for comparison, Anticosti Island is actually larger than Prince Edward Island. Now, in my eyes, what I think makes this island unique, special, and strange is its geology. You see, it's well known for its exceptional assemblage of fossils, particularly of those that represent the world's first global mass extinction of animal life on Earth. Now, the only settlement on the sparsely populated island is tiny Port Menier. Now, the island is home to many rivers that actually cut through deep canyons in the interior of the island. Most of the coastline, however, is dominated by steep limestone cliffs. The vast majority of the population living on Anticosti Island are French-speaking. Many actually trace their ancestry to Newfoundland and St. Pierre and Miquelon. Now, Anticosti Island has a very interesting history. The first European to explore the island was actually Jacques Cartier in 1534. And initially, it was actually named Ile de l'Assomption. Also guys, I'm not a native French speaker, so if I get any of the French pronunciations wrong, please feel free to correct me in the comments below. So fast forward to 1872, Anticosti Island was actually bought by a Montreal land company which tried to colonize and develop the island. But their efforts were in vain, as the company actually went bankrupt. So in 1884, the island was sold at auction to Francis Stockwell for a price of $101,000. Surprisingly, Stockwell also went bankrupt trying to develop the island. Eventually, in 1926, the island was bought by the Wyagamak Pulp and Paper Company. And under their ownership, the population on the island actually rose to 3,000. However, by the year 1972, the company seized their operations on the island because of the high transportation costs as well as forest fires. And thus, in 1974, the island was bought by the Quebec government. And now, more than 150 square kilometers of the island is a wildlife reserve. And that's because the island has a rich variety of wildlife. Most notably, the island is home to 120,000 Virginia white-tailed deer, and thus the island has one of the highest densities of deer found anywhere in the world. And because of this, deer hunting is a main attraction on the island. And many actually describe Anticosti Island as a hunter's paradise. In addition to hunting, fishing is also a major attraction on the island. The island is also home to a wide variety of fauna, including gray seals and harbor seals. Approximately 13 species of whales can also be found in the waters surrounding Anticosti Island. These include beluga whales, sperm whales, and killer whales. Land mammals such as the red fox, the river otter, and the black bear can also be found on the island. Interestingly, many different species of animals have been introduced on the island, primarily to increase the diversity of animal life for hunters. And thus, the island actually acts as a scientific and biological experiment. In total, 16 species have been introduced onto the island, six of those proving to be highly unsuccessful, including bison, caribou, and elk. However, of the species introduced, 10 of those species have successfully integrated into the ecosystem of the Anticosti Island. These include beaver, moose, and muskrat. Of all the species that were introduced, the one that had the largest impact and success was of course the white-tailed deer. From an initial group of 220 introduced in the year 1896, the number of white-tailed deer now exceeds 100,000. As of the year 2023, Anticosti Island has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
particularly because of its geology and extensive fossil record of Earth's history. You see, according to UNESCO itself, Anticosti is a site of worldwide importance with an exceptionally well-preserved and abundant, diverse fossil fauna. It includes the most complete and best-preserved paleontological record representing the first mass extinction of animal life on a global scale. Between the years of 447 and 437 million years ago, and thus, Anticosti Island is the best natural laboratory in the world for the study of fossils and sedimentary strata from the world's first mass extinction. This is due to thousands of large bedding surfaces which allowed the observation and study of shell and sometimes soft-bodied animals that lived on the shallow sea floor in an ancient tropical sea, which over the last 400 million years has actually risen to form what is now Anticosti Island. Now, interestingly, this precious fossil assemblage was actually under risk not too long ago. You see, along with the many fossils, Anticosti Island is home to something called the Utica Shale, which is potentially rich in natural gas and oil. And because of this, in the mid-1900, there were talks of oil and gas exploration on the island. In fact, in 1962, the first test well was actually dug on the island. Now, fast forward to the early 2000s, when a total of $115 million of public money was set aside for the exploration of oil and natural gas on and around Anticosti Island. And thus, many more test wells were dug on the island. These wells indicated high-quality crude and an unspecified amount of natural gas laid below the island. However, the only way to extract the oil would be through hydraulic fracturing, which is a process by which large amounts of water, sand, and chemicals are pumped underground to break apart the rock and release the resources. However, because of a combination of political and environmental reasons, the plan to explore and extract oil from Anticosti Island was eventually scrapped. And thus, today the island remains protected in its natural state as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now, another interesting tidbit on the history of the Anticosti Island is that in the period leading up to the Second World War, the Germans actually took an interest in purchasing the island. During this time, the Germans dropped off a 13-member survey team to examine the forest and port facilities on the island for exporting wood. They planned to buy the island and build a sulfite paper mill. Thankfully, the plan fell apart and the Germans went home. Now, if you are interested in visiting the island, access to the island is done either by boat or by plane. Regularly scheduled flights are available to the Port Manier Airport. And if you make it to the island, there's a lot to see and do, including the beautiful and 76 meter tall Voreal Falls, as well as the beautiful Jupiter River, which is one of the most famous salmon rivers in the entire world. In addition, the beaches and the reefs surrounding Anticosti Island are home to 400 shipwrecks, giving it the nickname the Graveyard of the Gulf, as in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And because of its fascinating and interesting history, its unique geology, and its status as a wildlife laboratory, I think Anticosti Island is one of the strangest islands in Canada and deserving of a place on our list. And as always, if you like content like this, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me stay motivated to keep making awesome content for you guys. Like the video if you like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.